Welcome back everybody, this is Jason Seacrest. We are going to be going through quite a bit of coloring today. Um, this is going to be all combining all of the different uh, tutorials that we've already gone through from flat color using our live paint bucket. We're going to be using the knife tool to give us some uh, variations. And then we're also going to come back and start adding on some transparent gradients. So that's where we're going to be focusing on this one. Uh, let's just go through what resources you have under the description especially on YouTube uh, the first thing uh, you do have our color palette so I did give you that so you guys can follow along with uh, the same colors if you wish other things I did give you and I'll just start hiding some of these it will be the original little sketch so if you guys like inking off of that no problem uh, and then I did do something a little new this time is I gave you not only the inking but I also gave you kind of where all of the anchor points are. So in our inking demo for this uh, tutorial, uh, that'll be another video, we're gonna use this as our template. And uh, I'm just gonna test it out, see if you guys like it, where you can actually see where all the anchor points are. So that's gonna be in our inking video. But uh, what we have right now, let's just kind of get you all squared up here, is I've already locked out pretty much everything else. And I have, already added the cartoon brushes we use those quite a bit I do have another video so if you this is your first time uh, there is another video of how to install those so they're just hanging out ready to go so we've done that to add lighting variation currently all of these are still on their own uh, they have not been combined so I'm basically done with the editing done using the eraser tool to fix up any of the overlapping and now I'm ready to color so let's get right into it uh, first thing I want to do is since I'm gonna start coloring I want to leave this guy alone so kind of a good habit to get into is just kind of protecting your layers I don't care if there's a 50 layers it's just getting in the habit of hey I have it just in case something happens or if I ever want to change things I can really easily go back and uh, it's an it's an easy process so for this one I'm just gonna label this flat color and we're gonna be dealing with this one and the first thing I want to do is just click the little circle and everything on that layer is going to be selected next I'm gonna come up to object and I want to expand I'm gonna just do it twice just to make sure I get all of our nice little uh, strokes all right and then we are ready for the live paint bucket. Now take that back. I want to do this first. I want to unite all of my black. So now all my black has been connected. Now I'm ready. Live paint I'm going to make and it's now we are ready to use our live paint bucket tool. So I'm going to select that. Now keep in mind I have already brought in all of our colors and I've also kind of added on some tints and shades based on our color palette. Now if you've never done this, this is just from, first of all, just place this. This is in your description as one of the resources. All we need to do is I'm gonna find my little eyedropper. If I select it, let me just click off of this first. I'm gonna use my eyedropper, select it. Now I've got a nice little color splotch. And then I just drag that guy over. So I can just do that multiple times. If I ever want to change it, I can just click on it. I can get this type of an option and or I can just double click here and I can give myself some tints and shades. All right. So at this point, we're just going to do flat color. So I'm going to come back to live paint bucket. And our idea is we want to kind of focus on the middle values. So let's say for the face, I just want to deal with kind of that uh, mid-tone. You're going to notice that we're going to come back and do some of the different variations. I'm going to hide my gradient later. So there's the layer and I've already come in. You can kind of see where my knife tool came in and it started to add in the shadows and the highlights. But right now we're just going to be doing our kind of that base color. Uh, let's say right in here, let's go a little bit darker. Looks good. I'm gonna come in, let's grab our maroon.
right now I've kind of modified this one that gives it a little bit of a uh, 70s little cuff here. I haven't fallen in love with that idea yet, but I just wanted to uh, try something different on this one. Okay, let's move into kind of our off-white. For pretty much a majority of this character, I'm avoiding white. There's really no reason why. I just decided, hey, I don't want to do white on this one. Let's do off-white here, off-white here. I want this one to be a little bit darker. I want these guys to get darker. I want the top. Inside of the nose is going to get black. Alright, inside of the mouth is black. Where else is black? Alright, I think that looks pretty good for that. And start doing our pinks. Pink. 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 I'm going to go a little darker over here. You're going to see this. this is just super fast. Click, click, click. I think I want to have pretty dark on this side. I think I want this one to be a little bit darker. Come on, buddy. Nope, take that back. I want that lighter. Okay, let's do our blue. You guys could totally mess around with the background. That's a pretty easy one to mess around with. And go off white for the teeth. I want these two back ones to be a little bit discolored. And I'm going to click this off white. Okay. Well, I think we have a, uh, a decent little base layer. So currently I have my inking layer. I have my flat color layer. Now this is what I'm going to do with this one. I want to duplicate flat color. So right now I have flat color copy, and hopefully this will all kind of make sense at some point. Now on this one, I might just lock it out. Hot, eh, we can keep it up there. Uh, but this one is still going to have, let's just double cl click on it. Let's just say live paint. So I've not expanded this one yet. So if I ever wanted to come back and change it, keep in mind just all you would have to do on another layer is just select everything and basically click back to live paint and make. But for the flat color here, just so we can see it, what I am looking to do is go, let's select everything. I want to object expand. Hit OK. Now I'm going to go black arrow. Magic ungroup. Usually the magic is three times. Let's see if, if that is a true statement today. Hey, three times. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. I want to do magic wand. I'm going to select all my black. I'm just control or command X. So I just cut it. I'm going to do a new layer. Let's just lock that out. Command F, paste in front. In front. So I have the inking layer hanging out. So this is what this layer looks like now. So it's basically my black layer. So if I wanted to la label this one a black and or ink, you could totally do it that way. Now for our flat, it looks like this right now. I'm going to do, well, we already have our flat here. I'm just thinking out loud. I think we can are ready to do our 
Nah, take that back. I want to duplicate this one out. And if we want to mess with it later, we can. Reasons for it, just so you can see the method behind the madness here and what I'm thinking, is we have a gradient layer. Let me hide all these so you can see what's going on. We have a gradient layer that's using the flat color shapes as kind of the base. So I'm able to just come in, grab these shapes, and then add a transparent gradient onto it. If I click off of that, it's the same shape. So these shapes haven't changed. We're just doing flat color. So this is just a flat color, and uh, we're just cutting out using the, the knife tool. So that's what that whole process was. So right now we have a couple different things. We have a base. Now why I have this little base here is every so often you get these little faint halo lines. And my goal is to have a base layer underneath that's at least going to take care of that. So this one is going to be our gradient layer. Just so we know what we're looking at. So right now I'm dealing with flat color. And it looks like this. So now, what do we want to mess with first? So black arrow, this is all hanging out. These are all separate shapes, keep in mind. And now under the eraser tool, that's where we have this fun little knife tool. So if I'm just looking at some of these, I'm going to say, let's just select these guys first. So to use the saw tool, select the shape, come on over. And what I'm looking to do is work on these cool cast shadows that this brain is going to be casting. Now notice that they're selected. And notice that I'm kind of cutting through the, the blue line. So any of these lines, you want to make sure that you're cutting through. So now I should be able to come in, hold shift, miss that one, miss that one. And I should be able to just come in separately and start to just change up that color. Let's just keep on going. So I have this. Find our saw. Now this one's just going to be the back of the head. And I want that coming right on up. I'm just going to be coloring as we go here. So this is what we're looking for. Let's hide our gradient layer. So these are the ones we're, for the most part, looking for. And I'll just deal with the green first. I want a little cast shadow under the eyeball. Notice that I'm deselecting, coming back, grabbing, grab. Now, one of these days, I, oh, I thought I had one to show you. If for some odd reason you can't select it, that just means you didn't go all the way through the lines. So as we do more of these, I'll keep showing you some ways that that sometimes happens. So I want another little cast shadow. So notice that my that black arrow is starting way over here. It's coming through. And then I want to come back through this little lip. Click off. Now I'm going pretty slow, but what's also really nice about this uh, knife tool is you could completely come back with the direct selection tool if you wanted and mess around which, with the handles and things like that. So if you ever said, oops, I'm making a mistake here, you could easily just come back 
and uh, just modify that shape. Be very, very easy to do. Saw. Well, first I want to do that type of a shape. Next, I want to come. Nope. Control Z. I want this one to come up there. Dark color. Okay, for shadow wise, I think we're looking okay. So now we're going to come back, saw, and I want. that shape. I might modify that later, but for right now, for the sake of argument, that side of the face is going to be lighter. And these are going to be a little bit more extreme, by the way, just so you're aware. You could always say, hey, I don't like these shapes. Control Z. I'm actually okay with that. Let's come and do the one on the lip. I want one that comes right through there. Let's color it up. Now, another little thing to just be aware of is these lines will be fairly harsh. As soon as I come back and put the, the gradient on, a lot of these will smooth out. And I can always come back and modify them later. So if they're ever too aggressive, I could always come back and modify them after the fact. So that would be a really easy fix. So I'm going to do some uh, in here. I'm going to do a little cast shadow. So the front lip is casting a shadow onto this top gum. This one's going to come through here. And let's just say there'll be another little guy through there. Darken those up. Click, click, click. Now, if you wanted to be doing this with the ink lines above it, just so you can kind of see what the actual looks like, you'd be totally able to do that. Uh, reasons why I usually hide it is just you can usually see the white. You can see the separation of your colors a little easier, especially if you are doing anything different with the uh, the colors. Sometimes I we do them where it's overlapping a little more. Uh, let's just do one that's coming all the way around here. This one is going to be the reverse. That's what I want. Okay, there's my dark one. Here are my light ones. This one will be dark. And notice I also just ordered them. So it goes light to dark, light to dark. So as I'm doing these, I know which ones are uh, basically next in terms of what's lighter and darker. 
makes it quite easy. Mm. Okay, let's do some of the tie. And then I think we could uh, speed up and then we can move on to the next step. So I'm gonna do a cast shadow for the lapel. Control Z, I want it to be a little bit sharper. Okay, now I'm just gonna do kind of the bottoms going in. Okay, that guy's gonna drop. I'm gonna actually do another one right through here. And that's gonna be like the cast shadow of the chin. Okay, maybe there'll be one hanging out on that side. Now, as you guys are clicking, just be aware that these guys like to move, these little tiny shapes. So just be aware that you're not sliding your cursor at all. Throw on our black. Now, some of you, if you guys like the kind of the flat coloring of things, that's kind of a, hey, we're probably good to go. Now, I'm just going to speed along. I'm going to do this separately. And then the, what we're going to do is we're going to come back and do the gradient. So I'm going to do this part. And then you guys can actually uh, we'll follow along to the, the gradient layer. So I'll stop talking and I'll just speed through it. All right, so we are, we've already kind of colored things. Uh, this has all just been done with the fun little knife tool. And we have mid-tone, sort of a highlight color and a shadow color. So now what we are gonna do is we're gonna lock that guy out. And now we are gonna be dealing with our gradient layer. Okay, so for the little, uh, for the gradient layers, keep in mind this, these are all the same shapes. So I'm just gonna say for the sake of speed, we're just gonna have a little light to dark coming over the whole thing. So where is our gradient? Here's our gradient. I think this one's gonna be radial. And I wanna double click the first one. Let's just say that'll be light. And let's just double click over here. And what we're messing with is kind of that opacity. So this is just gonna be subtle. Now keep in mind if I say, hey, I want, let's say the, white color with a highlight if i want that to be more opaque rather than transparent i could obviously modify that so right now i'm just going light to dark this one we might just turn off that could be totally an option so this back see how there's this little highlight right here i'm not in love with that part yet but just so we can kind of show you the process here so right now i have basically highlight out to dark and that dark color might be a little much for my uh, my liking. And what we're doing is we're kind of picking a, where do I think 
the sun would be hit in the forehead. And I could be dragging that out. So if you think he's too dark down here, I could just come back here. Let's just double click it. And I have this real dark one. I could totally just click one up. It's still just 50%. And what we're doing with the gradient tool is I can mess around with kind of that how how far or the transition. So if I want, and I'm kind of looking down here as the bottom hits, and I can just float it and I can point it in a different direction. So it really just depends on how of extreme light you want. That doesn't bother me too much. For this guy, Let's just say for this one, I might just do a little transparency on it. So I'm going to click on my shape. Here's my transparency. And we were doing 50%. So it's just a little variation on it. Looks good. Let's do our eyeballs, click, click. I want to do radial. It's going to look completely goofy before we do it. Uh, I'll keep white. That's probably okay. And let's go to this green. And notice the opacity is still 100%. I would definitely drop these down. Opacity. Okay, it looks good. I'm gonna come over my gradient tool. And I just want my whites, whatever your highlight is, you just want that pretty consistent and going in the direction pretty much for each one of your shapes. So you don't wanna switch that ever. Keep in mind, they don't have to be as, they don't have to all be the exact same. Click, 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 click. Let's do radial again. I'm gonna say dark pink. This one will be a lighter pink. Okay, that's 50. That one looks like it's 50. And they don't both have to be 50, by the way. If you say, hey, I want this one to be 60%. Or 8, you know, you can really mess around with it, too. Some of this is just going to be trial and error on... Uh, how do you guys want these to kind of play out? And again, I'm just going to be pointing in the direction I think it's going to be going. I might bring that guy up a little bit. I might bring this one up a little bit. And as we're modifying these, just things to be aware of is, let's say if I move this up, these little cast shadows that we we're making, what's happening is they're becoming just a little bit more softened. And that's kind of the goal with it. Okay, this one I think I want a linear one. This one's going to be dark. So it's just going to be pretty subtle. Okay. Click, click, click. So at this point, where did our little black go? We missed out on our little uh, holes here. 
Maybe it is that one. There we go. So we have our, our tone. Now, some other little things that I would still be coming in and doing the brain. And I would also come back in and do the little teeth. So let's do that. I'm going to speed through this part just so I don't bore you to death. But it's going to be the exact same process. Now, I'm going to do all the same colors first. I want this to be radial. Modify them out, modify them out. Radial. Okay, so our gradients at this point are done. Now at any point, if you said, hey, I think this looks money, then you could basically stop. So this is just the gradient. We, so we have our ink layer, we have our gradient layer. Keep in mind if they're not showing through to your flat color. So if you're losing a lot of these cast shadows, that's just because you're not messing around with the opacity. So in order to see all your little shadows that we did with the knife tool, make sure that you are coming back through and uh, messing around with the opacity. Now the only little thing before we're done here, this we are just cranking guys, is I'm gonna come back, here's our pen tool, and what I'm looking for is these little highlights. And I might just do just some for the face. And I'm still gonna do this on the gradient layer by the way. I'm gonna click and point. I'm gonna come right above the eye here. Click drag. Click your Alt, Alt Option. I want to kind of come right in here. Alt again. Okay, now I'm going to go Shift C. Got my Convert. Don't worry about the uh, color quite yet. Now all I'm looking to do is kind of have that follow along to the front of the head here. And I might bring this guy up a tiny bit. So I want there to be that. Okay, that's not awful. Let's go linear with this one. And maybe this one's gonna be the lightest. This could also be that really off-white. This one might be our might be our green. That doesn't bother me too much. And with these guys, is what we are looking for is as long as that shape, the shape can actually be a little bit bigger than what we're looking for. Because what we're going to do on this back color is I want this to basically either go 20% or even lower. This might even be like a 10, 0%. So depending on how much you want it to interact, so let's just say 0. 
So I want to select this. Let's come back to our can rotate. Now right now, notice where this line is. This is where our transparency comes in. And so I can have a real subtle little transition. It looks like it's just kind of touching it and then it's going to kind of fade right on out. So it's still there. So depending on how if you just want that to kind of hang out, let's just plop it right over there. So I don't want this back end of this shape to interact with anything else. I just want it to be a real subtle little line on that front end right here. P. Click. Click. Oh, let's go right before it. These guys might actually just make our life super easy on that one. Holy cow. So, so far it looks pretty good. So notice that it's keeping the same one, by the way. So that's what's happening. So now it's keeping in the same direction. It's wisping out right here. Boom, looks good. Come back to the P. I want one right kind of hanging out right on the lip. Alt, bring it on back. I think I want this guy to come over here. I'm not in love with that yet, but anyway. And I want that to just kiss that top lip. I drag this guy so it's nice and small. And I just really want it on that top part. So this one's gonna be pretty tight and small. So keep rotating. So I want it to be pretty transparent as it hits that bottom part. I just want a little kiss right there. Okay. So a few little things. Um, I'm not going to do the zombie part of this one. Um, but I think that would be a kind of a fun one to be messing around with. I am going to come back for the flat color here and just say, hey, I want to add in A little cast shadow. Up, oh, control Z, control Z. Flat color. I'm just kind of adding a little bit in this space. This could be a fun one for you guys to mess around with. What kind of corsage? What does zombie have? Okay, nice and subtle. Bam, looks pretty tight guys so this was just nothing's very complicated it's just we're doing multiple steps in this one so things just be aware of and little things that uh you can totally mess around with how subtle keep in mind if these lines are too abrupt and you said hey i don't want them as abrupt i can just come back in come into my flat color select this one so that's the same and I can just say, hey, I want this a tiny bit lighter. And so I could be real subtle with it. So it's real easy. As long as they're separated, 
that you can come in and just kind of mess around with those coloring. So it doesn't have to be as abrupt. And this is just a way of us layering multiple colors. And then uh, we're ready to go. So if you guys like these type of videos, make sure you guys are subscribing. Uh, I do check that. I also check the comments. Uh, if you guys like the idea of the inking with the handles, especially on the next video or on the inking video, uh, definitely do that. And uh, we'll be good to go. I, the only last thing I think I want to do is click, click, click. Just add some gradients up here. All right, guys, we are good to go. So if you guys like these videos, make sure you're subscribing. And uh, I will see you on the next video. This one was fun.